Hey, what's up guys? Soaps here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing a short, informative video for you guys that want to learn about upgrade cards. So you're like, Soaps, what is an upgrade card? And I'm like, all right, let me show you. So first up, there is things called upgradable monsters. So right here, you can see this is a normal monster card in all regards, except in the little corner right here, you see a little circle with some dots. So this little circle with the dots implies that it is an upgradable monster. So what that means is you play it like any normal monster for five elixir. You play it from your hand onto the field and you get the nice glare because you use sleeves like a good soaps fan. You use the sleeves and protect your cards. <laughs> and then if you have the upgrade monster, which as you can see has a little upgrade symbol where the upgradable symbol was, the little circle we were just talking about. Now there's an upgrade arrow and right above that it says lightning bats and that is the card that is right there. So this means that this card upgrades off of lightning bats. So you can take this card from your hand even if you just place that and place bolt bat onto lightning bats and now that card is upgraded so normally if you look at a upgrade monster there is still an elixir cost so you could technically place candle boy down for your three elixir and then let's say you have eight elixir you could place candle man down for the rest of your elixir the other five so you can still place them normally as long as they have an elixir cost in the elixir box or place them as an upgrade and pay no elixir. But there are some upgrade cards like Bolt Bat that have an upgrade arrow where the elixir cost would normally be. So that means you can't just place Bolt Bat down for free. Or... <laughs> yeah, because there's an arrow. I just get to place them for free. No, <laughs> you that just... No, that implies that you need to place lightning bats first, and the only way you can play bolt bat is to place it on top of lightning bats. So, you're like, Soaps, I don't want to use upgrades because what happens when my opponent kills them? Do they get two points? No. So, when this card dies, even though there's technically two cards there, it still counts as one monster and is sent to the discard pile and your opponent gets one point. Now, when you upgrade an upgradable monster, so let's say from Candle Boy to Candle Man, Candle Boy's ability is when it happens, when placed, all monsters on your field gain plus 40 attack. So, if you put Candle Man over Candle Boy and upgrade him, that ability is no longer in effect. So, let's say instead of it being when placed, let's say it just said all monsters on your field gain plus 40 attack. Now, if you place Candleman on top, the monsters on your field will no longer get the 40 attack. Now, it will be one place to add a fire monster from your deck to your hand. So, that's everything you need to know about upgrade cards in Sketchbook Chronicles. Remember, if you haven't gotten your hands on Sketchbook Chronicles, make sure you go down, hit up that link in the description. Use Doodle Ninja's 20% off coupon code. It is uh, Doodle Ninja's 30 <laughs> Doodle Ninja is 20. What am, I, what am I saying, bro? And if you haven't seen his video of opening up Sketchbook Chronicles, make sure you go check him out. He has an awesome channel. It'll be popping up right here, right now. Go check out his video. He did open up Sketchbook Chronicles, and he makes a lot of great videos with his TCG match battlers. So that's all for this video, guys. I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all the great support. Every purchase of Sketchbook Chronicles really helps the channel and uh, the game itself. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another upgradable video.